Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I am co-hosting in the Farm Fresh and Fabulous playlist that is hosted by my friend Chantel with Crafty Hands. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and if you're returning, I love you all so very much. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to take one of these signs I got from the Dollar Tree around Valentine's Day. These metal farmhouse animals I got from Dollar Tree recently. This plaid vinyl from Dollar Tree. Some um, words that I printed out on my Cricut. And three of these... 8 by 10 canvas frames and my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. So I start off by uh, measuring the vinyl out to fit on top of the um, canvas frames and I'm just going to clip them where they need to be cut. The nice thing about this plaid with the lines is that it's easy to cut those areas um, and then once I had them all cut out I just put them on one on each frame like you see me doing there after that i just hot glued three of those frames together and then i took some one gallon uh, paint sticks that i had that had previously cut them down from a previous uh, project and i uh, just added them to the back for extra support then I took some of these uh, reed sticks I got from Amazon. They are in my Amazon store and I cut them all down to fit, uh, to make kind of like a frame. And um, so I'm just cutting down the middle pieces there, but I had cut the um, other pieces down to fit. And then I moved on to painting them white as, as well as that sign. While those were drying, I took my apple barrel paint in the color nutmeg and went over all of those animals. And then I am just using some wood glue and hot glue to um, adhere those little sticks all around the sign. After that, I went to my Cricut. Now I'm going to show you guys my, my process since some of you asked for that. And I am just uh, I hit the text part and found the font I wanted and typed in the letters and here I'm just sizing them down to what I wanted them to be. And once I had them sized, I am going to attach and weld. That way they all print out together. Then I hit my make it button. And then I, when it comes up to this part, I like to space them out a little bit so I have some room to cut them so that I don't have to try and weed them all together. It just kind of makes weeding a little easier. And so once I have them all lined up the way I want it, I'm gonna go in and put my mat in my Cricut and then hit the continue button and hit the start. And then it starts cutting. And then once it was all done, I just cut the pieces apart and here I am just weeding. Um, now, I am using um, the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby's vinyl and it's okay. Sometimes it sticks a little bit. That's kind of why I cut that there because it was pulling up some of the words. And so sometimes it just is easier when you cut it down. Once I had everything weeded, I am just taking my transfer tape and I am going to add the words on. I add eggs onto the chicken, milk onto the cow, and bacon to the pig. Then I took um, this open daily sign and I put it right in that little spot on that sign and then the farm fresh. I did um, later also print out the word closed and I put it on the back of that little piece there that rotates. I thought it would be kind of fun to do. After I had them all on, I just went and did some dry brushing all around the sign, all around the edge, and then I'm going to um, do that little piece in the middle that moves. I just kind of move it out and then do distressing all around it and then um, push it out the other off side so I could get that way too. And then I'm just going to um, dry brush all around the middle of the words and the signs and everything just so that it has that rustic farmhouse look. 
And then after I have that all done, I am going to use some super glue here and hot glue to adhere those animals to my canvases. And then after I am done with that, I am going to take some tumbling tower blocks that I took um, five of them and I painted them white. And I am just hot gluing them to the middle of the frame, I guess you could say. Um, you'll kind of see here in a minute where I laid it, but then I put two on top of the side ones, as you can see there. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that sign right in place, just like that. Now, the reason why I did two is because I wanted it up a little higher so that I could turn that open daily around. Be otherwise, the, um, the tumbling tower block was blocking it. So then I just used some of this ribbon to make a hanger and after that, I'm going to use some uh, raffia and I just cut off a handful and wrap some twine around it and tied it in a knot. And then I'm gonna hot glue it above the animals. And I did this because I wanted to cover the little holes for the hanging. And I just love the way this came out. And so I'm just gonna hot glue it there. And then I do trim them down a little bit. I didn't want them covering the heads, you know. So I just trimmed it down and that's all there was for this. And you guys, I absolutely love this. I am just in love with this. I think it is so stinking cute. And as you can see, I did distress the frame as well. You have to let me know what you think about this one. So today is the Farm Fresh and Fabulous collaboration that is hosted by my sweet friend Chantel with Crafty Hints and co-hosted by myself and my other sweet friend Amanda with six kids and a glue gun. And we are to make at least one DIY with lavender and the rest are farmhouse DIY. So make sure you check out their channels and the playlist. I will have links to all of them in my description box below. And if you haven't subscribed to them yet, make sure you subscribe to them. They are amazing women. So here is DIY number two. So for this DIY, this is my lavender DIY. I have these two picks from Walmart of lavender. I'm going to use some um, one gallon paint stir sticks, this house sign I got from Dollar Tree, and my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, some tumbling tower blocks, and then some styrofoam from Dollar Tree. So I start off by, I removed the little stickers that were on the back and then I'm removing the hanger. Then I'm just kind of sanding it and then using my little, um, what is that, caulking or plaster, something like that, <laughs> to cover up those holes. Then I painted it with my plaster chalk paint. And while that was drying, I took tumbling tower blocks and I am just hot gluing two together. And I think I made uh, six or seven sets. So here I'm taking two of those sets and I am taking three of the paint stir sticks that I had cut down. I had take them out and cut them with my miter saw and I'm just lining them up where I want them to be on those two sets of tumbling tower blocks. And here I'm just marking them so I know exactly where I'm gonna lay them. Then I'm gonna use some wood glue and some hot glue and I am going to um, glue them down. And I did that on all three of those uh, slots as you'll see me do here, which I'm only gonna do two because <laughs> I already did one. Anyways, then I took three more of those sets of tumbling tower blocks. I'm going to do the exact same thing uh, with, as I did on this last one. I'm just going to mark them and use the same kind of glue. Then I took the one with the three and I am hot gluing it using hot glue and wood glue to secure it to that first little bottom of the crate. I'm making a crate here, by the way. Then I took another uh, tumbling tower set and hot or hot glued it yeah to that bottom crate and then now I'm just adding some more of the uh, stir sticks and I'm alternating with hot glue and wood glue and I did um, both sides so it's a three-sided crate so then I went and I painted it with my plaster chalk paint and once it was all dry I'm using wood glue and hot glue and I am going to glue that house to that 
crate, just like you see there. And it is open a little bit in the back because it was a little higher than I was expecting it to be. And I wanted you to be able to get a good view of that house. So then I just put that styrofoam in and filled it up with my lavender. And then after that, I realized, oh, I forgot to do my distressing. <laughs> so I'm just going around with my elephant chalk paint and just distressing all around the house and the crate. And then I did a little distressing um, around the middle of the house as well. I did kind of have to move my lavender side there then i took this little home sign that came with it and i am just doing some distressing all around it um, in the middle and on the edges and i decided i was just going to go ahead and use that and so i'm going to first hot glue some ribbon now i got this ribbon at michael's be right before easter it was 50 percent off i got a whole bunch of ribbon you guys they were just they had some beautiful ribbon and i couldn't decide but anyways i got this purple um striped ribbon and then i got i'm going to use some of this black gingham ribbon from dollar tree and i'm just kind of doing a double layer of ribbons here and then after that, I'm going to hot glue that little sign right on the front. And that's all there is for DIY number two. I love it. Of course, I love purple, but I just think it is so, so pretty. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. So you can find links to my social media accounts as well as other accounts that I'm affiliated with in my link tree in the description box below and if you have something that you have recreated and would like me to showcase it make sure you email it to me and i would love to show it on my video to others and you can find my email address in my description box as well so here's diy number three so for this diy i am going to take one of these fresh flower market signs from Dollar Tree. This is a frame from a canvas picture that I had previously used. I'm gonna use my uh, chalk couture transfer and my bright white chalk paste, my elephant and white Waverly chalk paint, and then this glass candlestick. So I started off by removing that hanger from the sign and those staples and then also the tags that are stuck on there. Um, once I got that all removed and I'm going to remove those staples and then I'm going to sand it down and paint it with black chalkboard paint. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome. My name is Brenda. I am so glad you joined today. If you like home decor on a budget, holiday decor, thrift flips, gift ideas, then hit that red subscribe button, become part of our family, and then let me know you are new. I'd love to get to know you. And even if you're returning, make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment. That really helps my channel grow. So once I was done painting that sign, I painted this frame with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I painted the candlestick as well. After they were both dry I took my elephant chalk paint and I went around and distressed the candlestick all the way around it as well as distressing that um, uh, frame. <laughs> and that frame um, if you saw I had a, a thrift flip challenge uh the beginning of the month that i had a made a sign with a bird canvas that's is the back of that canvas um so here i am just fuzzing my chalk couture transfer because it's the first time i used it and it took me a while to get it um, where i wanted it i still think it might have been a little crooked but i got it on here and i'm just going to cover it with my chalk paste if you um, have never tried chalk couture and you are interested in it we do have what we call the club couture and it is $19.99 a month you get three uh, single pace a squeegee and an exclusive transfer every month and it's a great way to try it out if you're interested if you are interested, just click on my link in my description box or email me if you have any questions. So once it was all dry, I'm taking this frame and I'm just hot gluing it 
to, well, I used hot glue and wood glue, um, to the front of that sign. And then after that, I just took some shipping paper I got from Dollar Tree and I just covered up the back and then I trimmed it all down. And then I took this little, it's like a flower, a wood flower. I got it in a pack from Hobby Lobby and I painted it white and I just hot glued it on top of that candlestick. I just felt like it would help this sign adhere a little better. And then I just used hot glue to um, attach that. Then I'm just gonna make a simple shoestring bow here out of my gingham ribbon. And I'm gonna hot glue that right in front, just like you see there. But first I gotta trim it and dovetail the ends, of course. And then after I am done with that, I decide to take some of those um, half beads that I have um, in my Amazon store and I am hot gluing them on each corner of the sign and there it is and I love it you guys I absolutely love this too ah uh, you have to let me know what you think about this as well and again if you have any questions about chalk couture make feel free to email me my email address is in my description box so here's the final reveal of all three projects, you guys. I am just absolutely in love with all three of these. I hope you enjoyed them too. And make sure you check out the host and co-host uh, channels. And then make sure you check out that playlist. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that red button before you go. And with all that being said, you guys, I will be back on Thursday, not Wednesday this week, but Thursday instead with another video. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.